Hey everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound, and today we've got the sound system demo on the 2024 Lexus TX and its 21 speaker Mark Levinson audio system. This is going to be an in-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments, and controls, and we're going to look at where the speaker lo speakers are located, and then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, Click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you want to hear even more on this system, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. Tonight I'm going to record the members only sound test with user requested real tracks, if you will, non rather copyrighted music. So we're going to, uh, if you want to see that, check the link below. It'll also help out the channel. And before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. The entirely new and much needed model for Lexus, the TX full three row crossover here, but not body on frame like we had with the GX and the T, um, man, this is getting tough. The LX, man, Lexus is really making it difficult with the alphanumerics, the TX and the GX and the LX and everything. But either way, this has a lot going for it. So if you do want to see more, check the link below. We've got our full review. We're going to have a dedicated infotainment breakdown on this one. The members only test fuel economy. All of that will be linked below. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. A big 14 inch infotainment display here on the TX is coming standard on all the models. We're in the media screen right now, but you can't get to your sound settings from there, so you have to go to the settings gear, down to sound and media. And then the settings for audio are a little bit spread out throughout this preferences menu. So first under levels, the auto sound levelizer option. This is going to adjust volume of the music as you get going faster. I have found that sometimes this setting makes Toyota and Lexus audio systems not sound quite true to recording. They kind of exaggerate certain frequencies different than others when you speed up. So I'm gonna leave that off for this test. Then scrolling down, we also see the surround sound option. Now, I thought I had that turned off, but let's just toggle it off and back on and hear the difference. In general, having a surround sound functionality off is going to give you the most true to recording sound. So we're gonna do most of our testing with that off, but I'll be toggling it on and off tonight throughout the members only test and throughout my week of testing with the vehicle. And I'll report back at the end of the video here if it's a worthwhile surround sound mode. Then below that, you have the sound tuning menu. And this is where you get your treble, mid range and bass. We'll go through those once the next track picks up a little bit. And you've got front, rear, fader and balance, the ability to move this ball around the cabin and focus the music where you want to. And that's all you've got for audio adjustments. I'm a little disappointed not to see a nine or even a five band equalizer in here, this being a premium audio system, but we'll turn up the treble bass and mid range here and see what sort of functionality and adjustment we have. I can already tell you right now, I'm looking forward to doing the bass test in this car because that subwoofer back there is putting in work. Okay, for audio controls here in the TX, you've got a nice volume knob situated right in the middle of the driver and passenger. You do have to reach fairly far to reach it here, but it's got good adjustability even though there aren't any clicks. Toyota Lexus products typically don't have any clickage. You also got volume buttons on the left side of the wheel. 
For track selection, unfortunately no physical controls here in the center. You've got to do it all through the touch screen. So if you're doing something like navigating, your passenger's gonna have no way of adjusting the radio or tracks without clicking away from your navigation and then messing around and hopefully they put the screen back for you. But the driver can at least use this haptic button here on the left to go back and forth with track selection. For audio inputs in the TX, you have your standard, always gotta check for AM. Yep, AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio. Do we have HD radio support? Yes, we do. How about AM HD radio? That's always a, a, a less commonly asked one, but. A hole in this movement today. Fact of the matter is he's Pentecostal, but he emphasizes onus. And I was kidding him. I said, you know. This yep, it does look like we have AM today. HD as well. And of course you have Sirius XM satellite radio. You've got a USB-C port up here for data and then two more for power. You've got support for wired and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also have Apple Music and Amazon Music streaming services built into the car. What does that mean you're missing? Well, there's no Spotify or Pandora. I mean, obviously there's a lot of different streaming services people would like to use, but you can use those through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. No USB-A ports, so make sure you've got some adapters and no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack or disc player. Speaker locations, as I said, this is a 21 speaker system. Starting in the bottom left, you've got a door woofer there, one mid-range and tweeter combo speaker there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, all those mid-range tweeter combos. 12 for the woofer in the passenger door. In the back, 13, 14, 15, 16, those combos as well. And then all the rest of our speakers are found here in the cargo area. 17, 18, 19, 20, tweeter mid-range combos there, and 21, our subwoofer here. Okay, if you'd like to see how Apple CarPlay and Android Auto work, check the link below for our infotainment breakdown. But before we get rolling, I do want to do the 5.1 surround sound demo to see if we've got true 5.1 capability in this car. Far, it seems like we do. Welcome to the Immersive Audio Album Channel Configuration Test. Left. Center. Right. Left surround. Mm. Right surround. LFE. Nope. No 5.1 support here. This is down mixed. Configuration test. Down mixed 5.1 down to 2 channel. Because if it were true 5.1, you wouldn't, you'd barely be able to hear that LFE because it'd be only coming out of the back and the surround channels should have been behind us. So that's really surprising for a Mark Levinson system in a, in a $78,000 car like this to not have 5.1 support. But I could see the argument that a lot of people aren't using that truly in their day-to-day -day music listening. And so they just down mix it, but still interesting. Okay, onto the road.
the power of these speakers and the, the capability is quite good. I'm really happy with what Lexus and Mark Levinson did with the door woofers as well as the subwoofer in the back of the, of the vehicle. What I don't like is the reproduction quality of the music. We listened to a lot of members only tracks last night, a lot of tracks I've heard dozens if not hundreds of times and I've obviously heard these tracks probably more than a thousand times at this point in my testing career and there's there it's not coming through too poorly here in the members only test but I'm especially noticing in this song I'm not getting proper reproduction in the mid ranges if you listen I'm, I'm in this track I'm actually losing a lot of the lows as well mid to low There's something going on in the EQ. You know what, I guess I should save these thoughts for the end because I, I want most people to hear them. Uh, for this next track, we're gonna turn the bass all the way up and see what we can get out of those door woofers and uh, subwoofer. <coughs> Excuse me. thoughts on the 21 speaker Mark Levinson here in the TX and boy do I have some thoughts. First off, I'm really lacking that 5 or 9 band equalizer. There's an element in the mid highs, kind of the mid ranges, but it's not quite treble, it's not quite mid range. That's It's too harsh. It's coming through too loud and too harsh and I tried dropping the treble down and it kind of helped but it didn't really fix it. Tried dropping the mid range down it did nothing. So. It, it's kind of right where you're hearing about snare drums, that sort of uh, frequency is coming through too harsh in the system and there's nothing I can do about it. Next, as I said earlier, I'm really impressed by the power and the overall speaker capability in here, but there's it is missing a wow factor. And the some of the Mark Levinson systems I tested in the current outgoing GX and LX, the, the last generation LX, they were some of my favorite systems ever. There was such a warmth and a 
per, uh, per, uh, precision and a clarity to the systems, they sounded fantastic. And it was almost as if you could turn your music up as loud as possible and it was in balance and didn't hurt your ears. I'm not getting that with this system. This just seems like a strong sound system to me. It seems fine, but it's not impressive uh, in the luxury class at all. Also, interestingly, surround sound sounds better. It's one of the very few cars I've tested where having surround on actually makes the music sound more enjoyable to listen to. So all that said, this is getting an A. It's fine, it's good. It's, it's good listening to your music, but it's not uh, super impressive. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do want to see more on the TX, check the link below, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from DM Sound, and as always, drive on.